the Kingdom of Mertana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. The war against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. The convicts took control of Kirinis. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. But his former slaves now demanded a high price. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed in exchange of tons of ore. Until the present day. Another convict was brought to the lift. He did not know, but he would change everything. Just you and me, my friend. No weapons, no food, just a simple scroll. Hmm? Who are you and how What's happening down there? Here? What the? Oh! That was close. Oh, shit! One piece. Oh, thank God, no blood. Oh, where's the scroll? Oh, it's all right. Great. Okay. Let's move on. Oh. 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 Right. Okay. Um, right. Let's light this up. Oh, good. That'll do, I hope. Where are we? What a mess. What's going on here? All right. God damn. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, 
Good. What the heck's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. What the hell? This place, some people's luck is worse than mine. Let's see. I'll leave it here for a moment. Right. You don't mind if I take this with me, do you? I need it more than you do at the moment. Come on, my pretty. Come with me. Oh, God damn it. Shit. It's broken. Well, this is better than nothing, I guess. Easy, boy. Let's make it easy for both of us. Okay, okay, calm down. Worst prison ever. Definitely. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. Well, this doesn't look good at all. What the hell? Damn, man, what a mess. Oh, oh. oh come on. Oh, please, it can't be real. Hello, you've already had your time, right? Then I'll be on my way. I won't be you. Okay, okay, easy now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, let me go. Well, you guys asked for it. Congratulations on surviving your first day. Good morning. 
I hope you slept well. Oh, good morning. Yes, I believe I did. Although I don't remember very much of what happened yesterday. Conversely, they're somewhat more docile during the day. Luckily, I arrived to hunt something for breakfast. Better than you, eh? Their meat is a bit tough, but it tastes better than rookie meat. By the way, we haven't been introduced. My name is Diego, and I'm the leader of the shadows in the old camp. I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's not important. You're a convict in the colony now. New prison, new life. That's what people say anyway. I'm gonna call you Rookie. All right with you? Hey, that scroll belongs to me. Yes. I borrowed it while you were asleep. Don't worry, Rookie. I'll give it back to you when we leave. It's an unusual document. Normally, Rookies come in here with scrolls listing their crimes. <laughs> That legal formality is meaningless here. It doesn't matter what crimes you committed outside. You'll have plenty of time to work them off here. <laughs> if you live long enough. Yours, on the other hand, is special. It's red and carries a lacquered seal. It's a scroll intended for majors. Why did they give such an important document to me? I suppose they entrusted that it would reach its intended recipients. Whether you were alive or dead. Many rookies don't survive their first day, especially their first night. Those who pick up the dead bodies and recover the scrolls are paid very well by the mages. There are people here who can make anything into a job, and the desperation doesn't help. You're not as special as you thought, <laughs> eh, rookie? Well, I'll have to report yesterday's attack to Gomez shortly. But before we leave here, do you have any questions, Rookie? Why did you help me? You were in trouble, and I happened to be passing by. Call it honor. Call it justice. No one should have to fight without a decent weapon and a fair shot at winning. But above all, I helped you because you're a rookie. And my job is to give you rookies an opportunity. Look, rookie, the colony is very dangerous. And even more so at night. Never leave the camps without being properly equipped. Besides, all you newcomers have the curious habit of getting yourselves into trouble. But I won't always be around to help you. Hmm. Speaking of trouble, the scavengers were about last night did you see the attack on the lift? Yes, I was part of the cargo in the lift when it happened. Hmm. Very interesting. We're still investigating what happened and who was responsible. 
I think your testimony might be valuable. When we reach the old camp, you should speak to Gomez. I'm sure he'll be very interested in hearing what you have to say. So what do I need to know about this place? <laughs> Let's start with the basics. We call it the colony, and we produce ore for the king. At least that's what we do at the old camp. Inside the barrier, there are three camps. And if you want to stay alive, you'll have to join one of them. The old camp is the largest and oldest of the three. And, well, part of my job is also to tell the new arrivals that it's the best place for them. Earlier, you mentioned someone named Gomez. Who is he? Gomez is the leader of the Ore Barons. He's the head of the old camp. The most powerful man in the colony. He's responsible for guaranteeing the ore shipment to the king and maintaining order in the only civilized zone inside this barrier. He's rather peculiar. A man of refined tastes and expensive indulgences. You'll see what I mean when you get to know him. And what about the other camps? <laughs> Listen, Rookie. Alongside the old camp, the new camp and the sect are nothing more than carnivals of mayhem and looting. In the old camp, you'll encounter people from those places who can better explain to you how things work here. As for me, I'll just tell you that the people in the new camp are a bunch of thieves and no scruples. And the people in the sect are all madmen, obsessed with certain herbs. <laughs> As you can see, I'm speaking from a position of absolute impartiality. <laughs> How do I find the old camp? Take this path. Past the clearing with the old tree, there's a guard post. And an abandoned mine. If you go through it, you'll get to the old camp. However, the door is closed for security reasons until I issue the order to open it. I'll go there after breakfast. You can come with me if you want. Let's say I want to join the old camp. What do I have to do? That would be wonderful news. No doubt about it. You should go to the castle gate. There, you'll find a man called Thorus. Tell him I sent you. Thorus isn't the friendliest person on the planet, but he knows what he's doing. He'll tell you who you have to win over to be accepted. Thank you very much. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Hey, you showed promise in the fight, but that's not going to do much good without a weapon. And there are also lots of wild beasts between here 
and the camps. It would be folly to travel unarmed. You can start by taking a look around the exchange zone, near the elevator. I'm sure you'll find something useful there. When you get a decent weapon, come back and we'll go to the old camp together. Oh, awesome. I don't think Gomez will miss this. Hey! Oh, hello. I didn't hear you coming. I'm looking for, well, clues about last night's disaster. I see. <clears throat> well, I have to settle this soon. Gomez has little patience, and I have other, more urgent problems to attend to. What kind of problems do you have that are so urgent? Well, you see, in the old camp you can never trust anyone, and even less of those who call you friend. Two of these friends, Cyrus and Bedig, took advantage of the fact that I had to come here to steal from me a very valuable pendant. They know it's important to me, but they would sell their mother in order to get some ore in the black market. Okay, let's be clear. If I help you, what can you give me in return? Hmm. A business man. That's the attitude. I like you. Tell me, what are you looking for? Or what do you need? We can start there. Well, a decent sword would do me good. A weapon that is easy to obtain and has no owner, if you know what I mean. Oh, I understand. Okay. I won't tell Gometh anything, if you don't tell anyone about our little deal. Okay? Okay, we agree then. The pendant in exchange for the sword. By the way, where can I find Saris and Beric? They've gone to the woods, near the bridge, I think. Be very careful. They are violent people. You'd better be prepared for anything.
I'm sorry, Betty. It's the best for everyone. You. Caden sends you to kill me, right? Frickin' bastard. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, boy. Thank you for putting down your sword. Enough. I'm here to retrieve the pendant you stole from Caden. That's all. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you really believe that son of a bitch's story? A pendant we stole from Caden? <laughs> Look, boy, he sold you a pup. a lot of blood, man. You should tend that wound. Yeah, you're right. I'll go to the river to clean it. However, I don't think I can survive without any medication or painkiller. But I don't have the strength or energy to look for it. All right, I'll see what I can do. I know I'm not in a position to ask you any favor, but if you help me, I'll be able to escape to the new camp where Caden won't find me. And in the future, I'll be able to return the favor. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll wait for you on the riverbank. And please don't be late. I need those medicines fast, or I don't think I'll get out of it.
This smells awful. How can they use this garbage to lure wolves? You're the new guy who arrived last night, aren't you? Yes. Diego told me all about it. A spectacular welcome here. Eh? I'll say. Well, newbie, I hope you're having a good time on your side of the door. Because you won't be able to get to the other side. What? Why not? Diego's orders. Until he returns, I can't open the door to you or anyone else. Are you sure there's no way I can get through the door? <laughs> well, it looks like we have a new merchant in the colony. Well, let's do some business. Maybe you can help me with a little problem. I had a horrible night. Well, I think I did. I went a little too far with the beer and the dice, I guess. Maybe you know how this usually ends. My head is about to explode with a hangover. My colleagues Luke and the boring morning guards. So you could bring me something for the headache? A strong painkiller? If you bring me something really useful, maybe I'll let you in. Hmm. All right, I'll see what I can find. That's great. The gate and I are waiting for you here.
What do you think you're doing, Rookie? Okay, I'm sorry. My mistake. It won't happen again. Hey, Caden, I'm back. I think I've been able to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow, that was fast. Okay, tell me, did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There was a pendant. It's probably already been sold on the black market. What? No, that's not possible. They would never have sold the pendant on the black market. You're lying. It was you who said Saracen Berig robbed you in order to sell it. There was no pendant, but I almost died trying to get it back. Okay. Well, all right. Maybe I invented some context to convince you. In any case, what happened to Saurus and Beric? Are they still alive or not? Beric was already dead, but Saurus wasn't. After talking to him, I decided to spare his life. You did what? No, no, no! Saurus was supposed to die too! This happens because I trust amateurs who don't know how to do their job. And also without getting the pendant back. Get out of my sight! You got off to a bad start in the colony. From now on, you better watch your back when you're at the old camp. You've just won an important enemy. Now get out of here! This big golden belly sign. Where have I seen this before?
wait. No. Please! In the end, Soros couldn't have gone very far. I found him here and decided to fix the mistakes you made in the first place, rookie. Nobody plays with Caden. Learn it by heart. Gomez has little patience. Gomez has little patience. Gomez has little patience. Gomez has little... Don't bother me. I have to collect all the evidence before nightfall. I think I have something for your headache. Something really strong. Oh, a Seraphis. Thanks for picking it up for me. I'll get a dime for it in the old camp. You can't imagine how many beers you can buy with just one of these. Wait a minute. You didn't want it for your headache? Bah, not really. Hangover and I are first cousins. And you don't abandon the family, you know. Anyway, Thank you very much. See you around. Hey, we had an agreement, remember? A painkiller if you opened the door for me. First of all, an honourable and upright old camp guard would never let himself be bribed, man. And secondly, I said maybe I could open it. I never said I would. Well, welcome to the colony, Rocky. <laughs>